Luke 4, 18 through 19. Um, and it reads, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Father, we thank you for your word. We ask that it really nourish us strongly today, Lord, that it guide us throughout our week, Lord. Lord, we have to remember that when the Spirit of the Lord is upon us, he has appointed us to preach, to proclaim, to give freedom, to give sight, and to release the oppressed, Lord. Lord, you're saying to us that this is what you have commanded us to do, O oh Father God. You didn't say to get rich, to beat people up, to do bad things. You, you said that we are anointed to preach the good news, and, 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 and this is what the Spirit of the Lord anoints us for. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. And in your holy name we pray. Amen. Um, I picked a, another verse this morning. I was studying it all last night, but as I sat here and listened to you, Sunshine, um, I shifted to um, Luke 4.18. So I didn't prepare notes for Luke 4.18, but that's what the Lord has given me this morning. Um, the, 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 in this verse, Jesus is he's beginning his ministry. He already had been in, in the wilderness for, 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 for what, 40 days, 40 nights. And the enemy waited until he, he was weak and then tempted him. He said, he said you are hungry. Turn these stones into bread. He took them to, to the top. And he said, if you only... Throw yourself down and see if the angels will, will catch you. If you only worship me, I'll give you all of this. And Jesus had the word of God to give him. And so he says here, the spirit of the Lord is upon him because he's anointed him to preach. So when we preach, when the spirit of the Lord is upon us and he anoints us to preach, it's for others, but it's for ourselves too. Because if the spirit of the Lord was not on him, he couldn't have used the word to resist the enemy. And that's why it's important that we live in, in, in our calling because our calling is just not for others. Our calling is first for us. Because the word of God heals. And when he's, he's talking about to proclaim freedom for, for, for the prisoners, it's we who are in prison. We're in prison in our own hearts. We, we, we're in prison in our own pains and, and troubles. And when we, when we accept the spirit of the Lord and his, his anointing and we carry out his word, healing begins. And, and we are set free. And, 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 and the example of, of, of the disciples is clear. They were scared men until the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord, came down upon them at Pentecost and they spoke in tongues. It is only then that they came in, into our own. So when the Spirit of the Lord comes upon us, we are not resisted because it's there first for our sakes, to help us, to, to, get, to, be, to make us free, so, so that we can proclaim freedom to prisoners as well as to ourselves because we are in prison. We are, we, we are victims of, of, of the first sin. Of, of, of taking the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. So that means that our, our lives and our joy is always mixed. It's always mixed with, 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 with good and bad. We may have a good thing happen, but remember the bad things too at the same time because we can't feel joy right now unless we can compare it with sadness. But the blessing of the Lord is clean. And when the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, and when you hold on to Jesus' hand and do what he says to do, he heals you. Amen. It makes it clean. The, these disciples had no health problems. The only problem was to their health was to people who wanted to kill them. They, they did great miracles. They, they brought people back from, 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 from the dead. Um, Paul was in chains and he, and he sang and the chains fell off of him. Such was the power of, 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 a, of, of, of the proclamation so that to become free is not only for other people. We think we, we have to preach out to other people and that's what God will, 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 uh, will do. But no, he's after us first. That's why Paul was able to break his chains by singing. And, and, and when, he, when he sang, he broke his chains. He even saved the jailer. So you see, the word of God is like a double-edged sword. It, it, it cuts for you, and, and, and it will also cut against you too. And that's one thing we miss. We are often busy and looking at other people's faults, but the word of God is not like that. It's, it's looking at your faults too. So Jesus, after he came out of all this, he had used the word of God, and he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because I am ready now. He says, I'm ready to recovery of the sight of the blind. And recovering the sight of the blind is not, again, for other people. It is for you. Because you can't see the glory of God unless you believe on his name. There is no, no, no other way. Um, when we 
And I read the New Testament reading about John, how, how he was the light of the world, but men could not comprehend that light. And, and when we allow the Spirit of the Lord to, to, to come upon us, then we can comprehend how good God is. Then we can see that these little things that we see that are accidents, or things that just, we think just happen out of luck, are not luck at all. It, it's God blessing us somehow, some way. I had a friend, and, and he used to say, don't worry, I'm going to pray for a parking spot. I just scratched my head, I'm going to pray for a parking spot. He prayed, bam, a parking spot. And God is like that because, see, if we don't trust God for the little things, mm-hmm. you know, like, like favor, a parking spot, getting to work on time, waking up in the morning. If we don't thank him for the little things, how can we thank him for great things? How, what he trust us with, 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 with these things? We don't have a little bit of, of faith. And this is why the word of God and the spirit of the Lord it, is important. And then he says he's going to release the oppressed. And, and the, the oppressed is us also. One of my favorite verses of the Bible is, 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 is the, 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 the haunted man of the Gadarenes. And he was always naked. And, and, he, and he was in the graveyard at night. They tried to chain him in time. They couldn't hold him. But he had saw Jesus in, in, in the distance. And at that time, Jesus had just finished preaching. And he went to the other side. And these were not Hebrews. These were idolaters, the Gadarenes. And he gets in a boat with his disciples. And he goes across the river. And the, 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 the wild man sees him. He was oppressed by demons. And when he sees Jesus, he runs to him. You see, the Spirit of the Lord can, can come on whomever it will. We think it only can come on to us who are in church. But this is a madman, an oppressed man in the mountains who was naked. He was crazy. He was a homeless fellow. But the Spirit of God came his way. And Jesus came thereafter. And, 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 and that's how it works. Once the Spirit of God comes upon you and bless you, Jesus is calling on you. He's, he, He's coming in. So we need not, when we get that parking space, or we see a good thing happen to us, or we wake up in the morning in our right mind, we, we, we ought not take it for granted, but we have to do like that naked man, the gathering, and, and say, thank you, Jesus, I see you. You're here. You, you, you're, you're willing to come bless me. And that's one of the amazing things in the Bible. Jesus shows up to people who we never thought he would show up to. Sometimes that we Christians feel like some people are not Christ-like enough, or, 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 or some people are, 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 are not what Jesus wants, but the devil is a liar. He makes the sun shine on the wicked and the good. He gives everybody a chance. That's why there's, there's, there's a great commission, because everybody must hear the word. He's willing that everyone comes, and he comes across the river from his preaching. He leaves the, 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 the so-called chosen people for one man. We sometimes think we're not enough. We think that everything we did was so bad and, 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 and so wicked. That there's no way the Lord can love me with my sinful self. But the devil is a liar. He came across the water for this man. And the man saw Jesus and he ran to Jesus and got to his knees. And, and, and he said, Jesus, son of God. And the funny thing is that the man worshipped Jesus. A, a, a heathen. A sinful man. Naked. Couldn't hold him. Filled with demons. So we can come to Jesus as bad as we are. Some people say they can't come to church unless they got the right clothing, unless they get themselves together. The devil's a liar. This man came with the devil within his own soul. And that means that, that, that you can be in church and you can see worshipers. You can experience worship um, experience with other people, but they may not be delivered. The, the word of God shows that in the book of Job, when the angels gather together to report to the Lord, who shows up? Say, in heaven. So if he can be in heaven, he can be here. And, and, and they have the same access to God as, as we have. They are still under God's control. They still bow their, their, their knees to him. They still have the same access we have. And we um, tend to think that, that, that just because we're in church and we go to church that we are saved, it is not true. Here comes the man filled with demons. And, and, and he worshiped Jesus, but Jesus is not mocked. God is not mocked. Jesus says to, to the man, what is your name? And the demon spoke. And the demon says, we are legion. That means we are many. A legion is something like 5,000 soldiers. So there's an army of demons within him. He could never get control. And sometimes we're out of control. Sometimes we know people who are out of control. They don't even know what to do next. They don't even, they don't, they don't even act like themselves anymore. They don't even really have really their own names that the Lord will call them. They have, they have legions of problems on top of problems, on top of problems, on top of problems. And Jesus says, come out of him. But the, the, the demons beg and they says, no, no, Lord, no, no, no. Throw us into the pigs. 
And he says, yes, you, you may go and leave have leave it to the pigs. They go into the pigs and they jump off the cliffs. That shows you that when you have these problems, when we have these failings, they're to kill us. They're meant to kill this man. But, but God had another plan for him. When, when we got things in our lives that are, that are unaddressed, it's there to kill us. We, we, we have issues and failings and character flaws. It's there to kill us. It's there to cause terrific harm if it just can. They were able to, uh, to overpower a herd of swine, but could not overpower that man. So, so God gives us the strength even when we're wicked and far from him. He's given us time when we wake up in the morning to, to, to realize who he is. And, and he is sufficient to understand that when we worship him, that, that, that we have to worship him in spirit and in truth. So don't worry about if people are praying against you or they're talking bad things against you or, or, that, or, or that people think that they're smart, they're going to worship. But one other thing, God is not mocked. Jesus recognized what was happening. And they came out. And then the people saw the man in his right mind, and, and they were afraid. See, see when, when we get ourselves together, the big thing that holds us back is that those who are around us may not want to want us anymore. We get saved. We get filled with the Holy Spirit. They don't want us. They, 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 not to say that they're bad people, but, but you can be a good person and still go to hell. Because, because you can live a, a, a legally moral life within those confines, but still go to hell if you've not accepted Lord as as your savior. And, and they want Jesus to leave, just go, just get out, get out now. Rather than praising God that man is saved. You see, you see when, 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 when people who are truly called by God or God's own, when they see you do better and, and, and all of a sudden there's a different person out about you, they wanna know what you do. You know, but, but, but when you're around people who, who the spirit is still, the spirit of, 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 of the devil is so active, they don't want you around. Because that spirit within them is rejecting what you have. They can't deal with it. Darkness has no, has no quarter with light. So they wanted Jesus to go and Jesus left. They could have been blessed, but they wanted Jesus to go because they did not want their oppression gone. I was watching uh, a show on Star Wars. And it, it, it was one of my favorite shows, the old Star Wars. And they, it was a movie. And, 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 and they met what was called God. Right? And God, the so-called God, says to him, I feel your pain, I feel your troubles, I want to take them from you. And Captain Kirk said, no, I like my, my pain and my troubles. And we like that sometimes, because that's all we know. Sometimes people like the problems. Sometimes they like, because that's all they know. So it's hard to make that step. It's, 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 it's very difficult. And, and we can be clothed and looking in our right minds, but still not want to make that final step. Give you an example. I, I used to hate street preachers. They used to get on my nerve. I thought they were crazy. Why, why are they making noise? I want to shut my window. They got to be crazy. In New York, they used to go on the subway trains and they're loud. They pick the person with the biggest mouth and they tell us all oh, we're going to hell. And, and, and early in the morning, I'm half asleep, probably got a headache. But that's something I did not want to do. But, but until I broke through about what other people thought about me, I didn't feel that, that my ministry became strong. Because, because there's no barriers anymore. There's no place that I won't go anymore. It, 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 it was a thing that I thought that was unclean, but it, but it gave me such beauty to, to go through. Like I said, my problems gave me beauty. But I'm reminded of Naaman. Naaman was a general, and, and he came from, 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 from Syria. And he wanted to be clean from the prophet Elisha. And Elisha says, dip in the, the, the river Jordan. Yeah, leprosy. But you see, the River Jordan ran from the mountains in, in Syria and ran down, and they had no sewage. So whatever sewage they had, they dumped in the Jordan River. So all this sewage and dead bodies and everything that was nasty flowed down to Israel. And, he, and there was no way a man of his standing would dip into, into that thing. That's the way we are. We don't want to do that. We, 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 we'd rather go about with our leper selves than, than, than bow down to the Lord. But when he dipped into the Jordan River, as filthy as it was, as he thought it was, he came out clean. So just because we get, we get ourselves together, it don't mean others will. And, and, and when the Spirit of the Lord is, is upon you, you're not oppressed by what other people think. You're not imprisoned by what, 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 um, what they think. You are free to preach the good news. You, you, you'll preach the good news sometimes in the way you live your life. People can tell. They can tell whether not you're a woman or, 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 or a man of God. If they can't tell, then you're not doing it right. But people can tell. They would ask you to, to, to pray for them. They would say, help me. They would, they would say, they just know. It's undeniable. The, the Spirit does, does know. But that's not even what, 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 I, what I want to preach because 
Right now, our news is, is filled with problems. And I hear Christians speak on different sides of the issue. I, I, I hear people who, who speak on this issue and that issue. We have Ferguson, we have Michael Brown, we have Eric Garner, the 12-year-old child who, who, who was shot and the police lied, saying he was pointing the guns at other children, but the videotape shows there was no children around. He got out and shot the boy within two seconds flat. And he was an officer who did not even should have been an officer because he said he couldn't even shoot right without crying. He became too emotional when he held the gun. And, and, and people in the streets right now are protesting. And I, and, 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 and I am glad that they, that they are. I'm very glad that they are. But there's people who also say that, too bad, the, the policeman was right, the videotape was wrong, that what we see is wrong. And people are saying, too bad, that's what black people get. And, 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 and I have a problem with, with that. And, and, and my flesh picks up, and I get caught up into this. And I want to say, you people of a certain color are, are, are just not good. But the word of God sets me straight when he says, when the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, he anoints me to preach the good news to the poor. Now, when these people are talking about black should be shot down, I don't care how many problems that they, they have. When you're going to talk about black people should, should be shot, that is not a Christ. Christ said, when the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, the proof Amen. thereof is, Amen. There are, is when he, he, he anoints me to preach good news to the poor. And you're going to tell people that just because you were jaywalking, you should be shot. And you're going to shoot 12-year-old children. And you're going to choke a man to death. That is not of God. Because the Spirit of the Lord was upon his people. All they got to say is, we were wrong. And, 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 and we don't do things right. But there's another part of, of, of this coin also. And another part of this coin is is that we, the poor, are not interested in the good news sometimes. Sometimes we, we just don't want to get up and do what's right. Because I said this word of the God is double-edged sword. And just like it, 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 it cuts against what the police do, what the politicians do, it cuts against what we do what we do personally. We have to get up and, and get the thing done. We, 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 we have to do like the, the man at the gatherings do, that every morning, when he woke up that morning, he, he saw the Lord and, 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 and he ran to him. Why can't we get up without crazy? self, with, with, with our self that can't be tied, and with our naked self, and, and say, Jesus, come. And we, we don't do that. And in the meantime, there are those around us who don't want to see our salvation. So we're in, in that same situation that, that, that this man finds himself in today. We don't recognize or want to even hold on to what the Spirit of the Lord said. And the Spirit of the Lord is not about black, it's not about white. It, it, it's about preaching good news to, to the poor. It's about, it's about proclaiming freedom to the prisoners. And, and it's about recovery of the sight to the blind and to release the oppressed. So no one can tell me that, 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 that those who are not doing right, who, who are in high crime situations and not taking care of their own business, and those who want to shoot them down like dogs, you're both wrong. The Spirit of the Lord is not, is not, not upon you so you, you can shoot your brother. The Spirit of the Lord is not upon you. You can shoot people because you have a badge. My, my verse today was really Deuteronomy 16, 19. And Deuteronomy 16, 19, it reads, Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Neither take a gift. For a gift blinds the eyes of the wise and perverts the words of the righteous. And, and, and this, is, this, is, this is a problem to us because, because when it comes to judgment, judgment is based upon how we see the Lord. And, and, if, and if we see the Lord as the ruler of our lives, we're not going to rule according to who we like and who we don't like. He says further, we're not, we don't respect persons because, if, because we understand that God loves the wicked and the good, the black and the white, the Jew and the Gentile, that we're not going to say just because you're from that group of people we don't like that there is no way you could be right, that that's because you have no power in this country. If they choke you on, on the TV, we're going to say he didn't choke you. And, 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 and God is not with us. God is saying that when his spirit is upon you, you do right by the poor. It says in Deuteronomy, when, when Moses got the law from God himself, one of the things he said, thou shalt not rest judgment, thou shalt not pervert judgment. And those who are in the judgment see the pervert judgment and, 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 and do it wrong. Why do so? Because the officers who kill, their lives are ruined. They might, they, they might be happy for a while. They might still have a, have a, have a, a retirement. But they're going to answer. And there's no way you're going to kill and have your spirit upright in you. Soldiers go to war all the time, but they come back messed up. Their lives are ruined. And, and, and they do their best for us. And, 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 and we train them to kill. We say, shoot the first one who raised their, their heads. And they come out messed up. These, these, these policemen, 
believe that they're holding the flag and doing right by America, they messed up too. Why do we let people mess up? A poor man who has a badge and a poor man who, 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 who is troubled. Why? Why does it, what does it have to be? Why is this, this the kind of judgment that, that we have? The Lord said that we, we are wrong when we respect persons. We ruin that man's life, making him think that he's right, but he's wrong. He knows he's wrong. His spirit is not uh, right with him. The Darren the Wilson, the, 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 the man, Panatello, who, who choked uh, um, every gardener, their lives are ruined. I don't care. I, I don't care if, if they become famous people that, that, um, themselves. They know they did wrong, and they shall not get away. The conscience is like that. That's the word we're made. And it says further, neither take a gift, because a gift blinds. The eyes of the wise and perverts the words of the righteous. This gift dates back to, to the first gift in Genesis. The devil gave them a gift. It says to them, "Take of this fruit; it won't harm you." A gift. And 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 and, and it blinded them. As soon as they took it, Adam realized that, that he was naked. His wife. They were alone in the whole world. I, I know. Sometimes you be alone in the house and you should shut the door. Alone in the whole world, only with God, and all of a sudden they want to put on clothes because, because that's what a gift does. A thing that you, that's not for you, do not take of it. And, and, and the enemy wants to do these things to you because he wants to make you beholden to this thing, to, 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 to his um, way of life. And, and he told Eve, and Eve said that, that it looks good to the eyes, and, 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 and it looks good to eat. And, and, and the word of God says that all there is in this world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the, of the eyes, and the pride of life. And this is what happens to us when we, when, 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 when we, when we give something to get something, rather than holding on to what Jesus says. And, and, and when we think that something is worth more than our very souls, the word of God is clear. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world but lose his soul? And this is the gift he's talking about that blinds people. The word of God says that we are to, be, to, to give recovery of sight to the blind. And Deuteronomy says that this gift that we get for, for poor judgment blinds people. Perverts your words. It takes you so far that you can get from God. These three parts here, when it talks about judgment, is akin to God. God is the judge of all. And, 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 when, and when we're talking about respecting the persons, the respect of the persons we relate to Jesus. He was a person. And when we talk about gifts, it's the gifts, gifts of, of the Holy Spirit. So when they turn these things on their head, and, and, and they use them just to get advantage over a man, over a poor man, over a 12-year-old child, over people who can't even defend themselves, over people who are dysfunctional, when, when, and that is all they want is, is, is a salary, just to hurt people. I tell you, God is not in it. And that's what the enemy meant to do when, when, when he gave Adam and Eve that fruit. He wanted, he, he wanted Cain and Abel to repeat continually. And Cain and Abel still repeat. We are brothers. We are all children of Abraham, yet we kill each other. My analysis and, and all this thing is that we are really wild. We were wild people. We think that because we live in cities that, that we're civilized. No, we, 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 we are wild. We what, what we call buck wild. We, 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 there's an animalistic face to us that, that, that when we can see advantage, we will take it. That the, the, the heart of a man is, is, is exceedingly wicked. And all it takes is a little gift, a little thing to, to, to make the, the, the wildness in us come out and hurt people. You, you may have a dog or a cat in your house, but let that dog or cat not have food. You'll see if it's tame or not. You'll have a, you'll have a problem on your hands because that dog or a cat will revert to its natural state and, and, and it will do that which it does when, when, when it's wild. And that's why the enemy gave us that gift of the fruit because he wanted to appeal to our fleshly wild nature. And when we deal with people, we deal with them in a wild fleshly nature. And we think this is only people doing it too, but, but in fact, we live in a wild world because nation fights nation. Nation robs nation from the beginning. If one nation had gold and I had a gun, I would have your gold. And, and there was nothing nobody could do about it. And we, we, we blame people on the streets who do that today, but we do it internationally. And the only check or balance we have is United Nations, which has no power. So we, as people, are wild, and that's what the fruit did to us. It turned us out. But, 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 but then there's another aspect to human life. There's our spiritual side. There's the Lord. That says, come out from among them. That's why he called us to be sanctified people. And he tells us how to determine whether or not you're on the right track. 
It's clear. He, he says in the great commandment, he says, to love the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul, and to love your neighbor as yourself. And these people aren't doing it. And we, as a people, aren't doing it for ourselves because if we really love the Lord, we do better. If we really love the word, Lord, we send our kids to school. If we really love, love the Lord, we find a way to make a, a living rather than taking. Like people are taking from us. Why do we want to live in this wild situation? In fact, those are on, on, at the bottom, the word of God says, blessed are those who thirst and hunger for righteousness because they shall be filled. Blessed be the meek because I shall inherit the earth. There are many things in our advantage. If we just reach out, God is coming for those who are, who, who, who are poor. He's coming out for those who are meek. He's coming out for those who are blind. He's coming for those who are oppressed. Even the man in the gatherings, he's coming. He's always coming. The Bible's not written in past tense, but in current tense. That means that these things are still going on. He's still looking for a man after his own heart. He's still ready and able and willing to bless us continually. He's still holding up the light with, 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 um, with, with his word. He's still doing all these things. He's still showing us that, 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 that and he has the bruises, the, the, the thorn, the, the, the spare inside, all these things, daily, daily, daily. He shows he's still moving ahead, not because he has died in the flesh. We think that these things aren't happening anymore. He said it then, and it still is true. When the spirit of the Lord is upon you, you take care of business, and you do it right. There's no reason why there should be poor in this world at all. There's none. And the reason why that there are people who are poor and people, nations who are being robbed and people being shot, because everybody wants the gift. And they want the gift for nothing. So don't blame judges or prosecutors when they do wrong. They don't know any better. They want the gift. They want pride of life. They, they, they want a little advantage. They want to be reelected in the next time. They don't care if a million children die, as long as they can get office. We don't care. We, we don't care if all our generations down the road don't 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 live long, as long as we can have a drink today. So we're just as bad. But we have to understand that that that, that if we are not in line with the spirit of the Lord, doing these things as He said, we're in the line with another spirit, and, and that other spirit is not of, not of God. So let us be clear. There are there are ministers who will disagree. Let them disagree. I will hold them to what Jesus said, and He said that He has anointed us to preach the good news to the poor. He didn't say to the powerful. He said he has sent me to proclaim freedom to the prisoners, those who are caught up and trapped in their situations, and to recover sight for the blind. And, and he says, furthermore, to release the oppressed and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. If you're not walking in this spirit, you're walking on to another spirit. And, and, and God says further that he wishes us to be hot or cold, but because we're lukewarm, he's going to spew us out of his, his mouth. You're either with God or against him. So don't worry about these people who are protesting. Do your part. Raise your kids properly. Walk with the Lord. When you wake up in the morning, praise Him. When you treat other people, treat them right. And, and if things are going wrong, don't blame people because, because they're saying, out you, you stepped them on toe. I don't want to blame the protesters at all. The word of God, word of God is clear. He talks about the unrighteous judge. And the righteous judge took a woman's house. And every morning she she, she protested. She protested. She had no power. Women had no rights in those days. She, they weren't even allowed to own property. But she protested and protested and protested until she got justice. And Jesus said, if the ungodly can do so, why don't we? Why aren't we protesting for justice? I don't blame it all. Protest, protest, protest. Because that's what we do. But when the, when the protest is done, when all this is is is, 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 is it's said and done. We have to remember, we have to be right within our own spirits. We have to make sure that we are preaching good news. We are doing good things with our lives and our mouths. And that we are helping people break out. And that we are not taking a gift just to get a little, a little piece of bread today. What good is it when you can't enjoy better a little in righteousness than a lot in infamy? And I wish we just come around because, because I don't care what they say on the news. I don't care what they say on different news channels. This is the word of God. This is where I line myself in. This is what we have to do. If you want to see who Jesus came for, he didn't come and, and, and preach among those who were in the synagogue. He came to the poor, the prostitutes, the tax collectors, the criminals. And these are the people who need the Lord the most because it is clear that this system is set up that so that there's lots of poor people so many can have a lot but Jesus is, is Jesus is, 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 is a kind of God our Lord is, 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 is a kind of God is not a respecter of persons that he will come and get this thing right and I beg us today to get it right I beg us today to, to work hard for what is right we're gonna to have to work for, for, for justice it's all our responsibility Jesus said that many righteous have say Lord have me prophesied in your name. 
How do we cast out devils in your name? He'll say, get thee hence. And who wants it to be that? Who wants it to, that to be us? That all we can say is that we cast out demons and we prophesy. But Jesus says, no, get thee hence. I never knew thee. How is it possible that we can be, be great men of God? I don't think I ever cast out a demon. I don't think I ever brought, brought sight to the blind. But, but Jesus said, that's not going to profit me. He, he, he said, because when I was naked, you did not clothe me. And when I was hungry, you did not feed me. We don't do, we forget all these things. We want all the bells and whistles of sanctification. We don't want to roll sleeves up and do the heavy lifting. And that's what Jesus is about. He's about those who are oppressed because he doesn't like that. Because when you have oppressed people, it means we live in a wild state. We're unspiritual and the spirit of the Lord is not upon us. And that's why he's come for the poor. Not because he's a communist. It's because he knows our hearts. And our hearts are to take advantage and to take the gift and hurt people. He's saying that just as he, he says, be holy as I'm holy. Just as he love all, we must love all too. And that means love the poor. And this is what we don't do. This is our condemnation. We don't love the poor. We don't. We hate them. We don't want to see them. We don't want to even talk to them. They smell. I know they do. We don't want them around. But Jesus says we have to do it because when we don't, we're putting on the thick cloth. We're separating us from other people. When we are the same anyway. That we, we, we're doing the same thing that, 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 that Adam and Eve did. We, we, and then we, 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 we go further do the same thing that Cain did to Abel. It leads, it leads to murder. And that's why we have this problem today. We have to hold on to Jesus' hand. We have to believe that the Spirit of the Lord is about everybody being free. And it is enough for everybody. The Word of God says that in my Father's house there are many mansions. And he said, if it was not true, I would not tell you so. So we have to believe that God is enough for all of us. He created this entire earth with his word. What more can he do for us if we just forget about the gift and hold on to the Spirit of the Lord? And I'm done. Father, Lord, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. We magnify you and lift you up. We give you praise and the honor and the glory. We lift you up. We say thank you. We, we know, Lord, Father God, that we live in a tough time, a time as hard as it was when you showed up, Lord. You showed up at a time when, when Israel was about to be destroyed by the Romans. They had a few more years left, and you came to snatch them out of the fire. You snatched a few, Lord. Lord this could be our time, too, that you may even come again, and, and we're dilly-dallying. We're playing around like we have forever, but we don't know, Father, Lord. We don't know what's going to happen in the next hour. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We take it for granted, Lord, that we have to do what is right, that you're asking that the scales be not unbalanced, that it's, it's incumbent upon all of us to do the best that we can. Let us do what's right, Lord. Have your spirit come up, come upon me. Have your spirit come upon all of us, Lord, that we may walk and talk right. Oh, what power we can have, that we can just help those who can help themselves, Lord, as you did. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. In your holy name we say, Amen. Amen.